Hey guys, so I'm in the middle of editing this vlog and I just thought I'd put a disclaimer out to let you guys know that this is literally one of the most boring, random, irrelevant vlogs I've ever put out, I think. It was like extremely excruciating trying to edit this because I did literally nothing except go grocery shopping and just do nothing. But I'm still trying to push out three videos a week, so I hope you guys appreciate that. I know a lot of you guys send me loads of words of encouragement, it really helps. And I promise if you guys don't like these kinds of vlogs, I will try and just do like maybe two videos a week. Unless you'd rather me do three videos a week, like short random ones. I'm going to be working on some more creative content hauls and stuff in the next week or so. But hopefully this will suffice for now. I'm so sorry. Good morning guys, it is like 10 a.m. and I am gonna head to my nail appointment because I need to do my nails and I'm gonna get my eyebrows done. This is the first time I'm getting them waxed or threaded since I got my microblading. Um so I'm excited to go back to a better looking shape. Cause as you can see, they're looking kind of bushy. But my microblading's looking really good. It's like gone down the colour, so it looks a bit more natural. I haven't applied any product under my brows. And I I really like the effects. A lot of you guys have asked me how I felt about my microblading. And considering I only did the corners and like a bit of the front, I'm really happy. I feel like they came out quite well. And initially they didn't look like super symmetrical. A lot of you commented on that, but like I feel like they look better now. Naturally, I feel like this eye is just higher than this one, um, which is a bit annoying, but whatever. So, I'm gonna get my nails done, get my brows done, and then I'm gonna come home because we're going for a dinner tonight, and I need to decide on an outfit. Hey guys, so, I've just got two ill sticks in these days. Okay, so as you guys know, I just finished my Daniel Wellington project and because I don't personally wear these watches, I sold them all on my Depop and like I got a few orders. So today I'm shipping out the orders. I've shipped out a few sneezes. These make great gifts. I also want to show you guys my lashes. These are my natural lashes. I'm keeping my cap on because my hair looks awful. I haven't had a blow dry today. But um, I'm actually surprised at how good they're looking i've applied well i've been applying castor oil revisor lash like a mixture of both evening as well as morning like right before bed because when you put castor oil on your eyelashes and you're not going to bed you're sitting there like you know it's awful and then today i used i haven't been using the fiber lash again because it just it made my eyelashes really clumpy so i used the nars climax mascara which i will link down below it's actually amazing. It is the 3rd or 4th of March today and I've decided we're going to be dropping the new lip colour today. So we decided to come to Sainsbury's and pick some food up for Elise's apartment. I did my grocery shop yesterday but Elise doesn't like doing her own grocery shop and Sainsbury's here is really good. So obviously we're doing what I am. You know we already have fish in the oven. I mean in the... Yeah, but it's kind of old. I don't really eat old stuff. Um, Sainsbury's have such a good selection. Oh, crayfish. Elisa, can you reach that? Yeah. The big prawns. Oh, no way. They have these. We're fully getting screamed at in Sainsbury's for taking videos. <laughs> she literally just screamed at us. She goes, <laughs> from across the Sainsbury's. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, I'm just trying to buy groceries and vlog for you guys. You don't drink milk. Guys, we found our section. <laughs> take them all, take them all. <laughs> Wait, didn't they have like gold ones? <laughs> Get the champagne flutes just so we can drink like sparkling just grape juice out of. <laughs> Do you want to get another pan as well? That's too small. We can cook like eggs in that. Okay, come on. What? What about the you did get plate? paper plates, right? Yeah, what about pan plates? So I was gonna do a Sainsbury's haul, but after we were like rudely spoken to at Sainsbury's, I'm not doing a haul and I'm not going back to that Sainsbury's if going back to any Sainsbury's ever again. This is why I don't leave Waitrose. 
Okay, move on. So today, Sainsbury's haul. Okay, so before I start cooking, I like to make sure I've got everything prepared um, and washed so I can just pop it in. So today we're having two large magic mushrooms, um, a whole pack of asparagus, half a pack of broccolini, some cherry tomatoes and king prawns. And I've also, I need to wash these, but two cloves of garlic. Um, my new garlic press, which I'm so excited to use. Actually, I think I might also put some peppers in. Um, I had to thoroughly wash this because obviously, I don't know how many people have touched this with their dirty, filthy hands. So, had to be washed, rinsed and sat in like hot water, boiling water for at least 10 minutes. So, whilst my broccoli, asparagus and magic mushrooms are cooking, I've cut up a little bit of basil and tomatoes, which I'm going to put in with my prawns. But I think I'm going to let the tomatoes blister and just cook a little bit so they're kind of like soft. So obviously when I cook, I like to have a little garbage bag here because Elise does not like mess and I need to be more grown up about the situation that I'm in, which is that um, I have no maid. <laughs> and now I'm going to just put everything in the oven so I can cook the prawn so this doesn't get cold. <coughs> Yay, finished. So the tomatoes came out a bit overdone. They look more like a sauce, but it's fine. Um, yeah, go and come down with me. I think not. Yeah, some of the shit people make it like. Literally, I wouldn't eat in a, some random person's house. Um, we're watching Come Dine With Me, which is literally the funniest show I ever. love Come Dine With Me and it's But like, personally, I wouldn't eat in some random person's house. Because if you don't know like what their hygiene is like, I don't think so. Okay, so we finished, please tell this irritating man off. <laughs> yeah. Um, we just finished lunch and chucked the plates in the bin because life is that easy. Now we're gonna... We're gonna make pancakes. So I'm gonna cut this vlog short here and we're gonna restart this video um, and basically do, we're gonna film the pan, sorry. We're gonna film the pancakes video, which you'll see probably, sorry. you'll definitely actually see before um, this vlog because this video is coming up tomorrow and this vlog will probably be uploaded in a week's time because Elise and I, if you guys don't already know, we backlog our content by at least a week, if that. So, yeah. But I'm also, I'm leaving. Hi guys, today is the day before pancake day. Okay, so that's our pancake day video done. I was literally about to start washing all these bloody dishes until I realized we now have dishwashing tabs for, oh look, it's a hidden dishwasher which has been here, I promise you guys, this entire time, which it definitely did not go out of our way and buy. It's a new apartment, every a dishwasher. Am I doing it right? I don't know. This kind of looks like mine, but I don't know. No, you have to go, yeah, no, no, no. Yep, yeah, auto, fine. And then how long do you want? Okay, so we finished lunch, we finished pancake day video. Now we are gonna go, okay, first we're gonna go to the charity shop. And then we're gonna go to Peter Jones and see if we can find Elisa some artwork for this house or like some cute stuff. So we've just got to Oxfam off King's Road. Let's hope they take these clothes. <laughs> we don't know what else to do with them. Okay, so now we are off to um, Peter Jones, <laughs> just down the road. It's actually quite cold. And just dropped off some stuff to Oxfam. Finally had to do that after so long and, and now Now yeah Try and get I some can't bits and bobs for apartment Wait, there has to be posted of stuff around here I didn't bring my stuff though Okay, so <laughs> we ended up going for like a quick meeting Randomly Randomly So we walked into the store <laughs> Randomly and the store owner actually like followed us And she wanted to talk to us about collaborating And yeah, that was good. Now we're just at Peter Jones. Yeah. Let's go in. Yeah. It was like touching doors. Oh 
got it's a so excited to get a kettle <gasps> my battery's about to die no. No. so we're on our way home now i'm just gonna drop elise then i'm gonna head to mine we found the kettle and yeah i'm pretty exhausted from doing absolutely nothing today i can't lie but i'm gonna head home edit the pancake video and the other video upload tonight and tomorrow and i'll see you guys